Okay, yes, let's tackle the elephant in the room. What is a skinny guy doing here about to break down posing for plus size women? If you're seeing me for the first time, I'm a portrait photographer that specializes in photographing the every woman. And this one TikTok that I made about posing for a curvy woman went viral. Well, semi-viral. Today we're going over how to pose for my curvy ladies, especially if you feel insecure about your arms appearing too big. So ever since that TikTok went semi-viral, I've been getting so many requests for more and more plus size posing for women. So here I am about to give you beautiful ladies exactly what you want because I know how tough it can be to feel comfortable and confident in front of the camera, especially with posing and you queens deserve to know how beautiful you really are. But there's a reason why this is titled Let's Break This Down and Not Four Easy Poses for Plus Size Women because it's not that simple. That's like saying finding clothes for plus size women is as easy as four steps. And yeah, no. I've heard from my plus size clients countless times the struggles of finding clothes that fit them because there's no one size fits all. For example, a size 12 dress that might fit one person might not fit the other because in plus size, there's multiple body shapes and one number is not going to account for all of those differences. Again, it's hard because there are multiple body types and shapes for plus size women. Pear-shaped women have larger lower bodies and smaller upper bodies. Apple-shaped women are bigger on the top half of their bodies than their lower half. Banana-shaped women are proportionately shaped through the shoulder, waist, and hips. And just like how there isn't a one-size-fits-all for fashion, you guessed it, there isn't a one pose that works for every plus-size woman. And do you know what makes this even more complicated? Insecurities. A question I received a lot on that semi-viral TikTok was this. David, why are you teaching women to hide their size? First of all, I was very clear to address that video specifically to women with insecurities. Because honestly, if you're super confident about your body, you can pose however you want and you're gonna feel good about how you look in the photo. Secondly, and this is very important, so please listen up. My job as a photographer isn't to question and break down my client's insecurities. Like I wish I had a men in black memory wipe thing that I can wave in front of my client's faces and their insecurities disappeared. Honestly, I won't even be doing photography then. I'll just be out there selling this crazy device and living my best life. If a client comes to me and she says, David, I'm insecure about my arms and how big they look in photos. I don't respond to that by saying, oh, please tell me more, Kate. When was the first time you felt your arms were big and how did that make you feel? No, no, absolutely not. That's a therapist's job. Simply put, as a photographer, I'm here to show you that you're beautiful and I'm here to help you see it. Now, with that being out the way, if you are plus size and you want more of an hourglass shape in your photos while looking more proportionate, here are my top nine tips as a professional photographer that will help you take your posing game to the next level. The first two tips are going to be starting with just a mindset shift and perspective. Know what you like and don't like about your body. My beautiful client Erin, who's gone through her own ups and downs in her body love journey as a plus size mom, explains this so well on my podcast. Know what features you like highlighting. I'm a large busted lady. I, however, do not like drawing attention to the girls. So I'm always looking for ways to draw attention to my waist and my booty. So I'm looking for interesting angles to highlight that. Finding out what you love about your body and knowing what you're insecure about is a great way to tackle photos and seeing photos for yourself versus just chalking up any bad photos and adding to this thought of, oh no, I'm not photogenic. Now with that knowledge combined with the next eight tips that I'm gonna give you, you'll be able to pose for your own body type pull away the spotlight from somewhere that you have insecurities about and instead highlight the features that you love. And that'll be so much better than trying to grab some cookie cutter one pose fits all for plus size women and just trying it and saying, ah, that doesn't work for me. Second tip is you're gonna know you're posing well if you're uncomfortable doing the pose. The thing is when we're comfortable, and this goes for anyone by the way, we slouch, we kind of go down, we get closer to the floor, there's no interesting shapes in we're creating. And again, posing at the end of the day is interesting shapes. What are we creating? You look at those Greek paintings, they're like this, they're like touching like that, that one painting, I don't know what it's called, of course. Ugh. But you know, like it's all these interesting shapes that we're creating to create dynamic shapes. How many times did I say shapes? Body language is so important. And the moment you slouch, like your whole confidence changes. And I see this in my clients. The moment I put them into a pose, they light up. Like their, their, their eyes change like, ooh, they might even do a little head tilt by themselves. I'm like, oh, look at you go. <laughs> and now going to actual physical tips that you can apply to your posing. Leaning and tilting forward towards the camera is gonna be your best friend. 
This is especially true if you're top heavy and you have a larger bust line. Leaning forward is gonna put more focus onto your beautiful face and take that away from your body and it's gonna have a slimming effect for your body as well. And this is why we take our selfies from up here like this, especially for the close-ups. Tip number four is further away from the camera means smaller in perspective and vice versa, whatever is closer to the camera is gonna appear larger. Right now you can see the true comparison in size of my hand and my face, but if I bring this hand closer to the camera, all of a sudden it's like, David, why do you have such large hands when I really don't? One example is if you don't like how big your arms look in photos, the worst thing you can do is lean back and have the arms be the closest thing to the camera where it's gonna make it even larger. What you should do instead here is to tilt forward with your upper body like tip number three, and you're pushing the arm away from the camera and in return, making your arms look smaller in photos. A second example is if you have a pear-shaped body and larger hips, don't kick your hip out towards the camera. You should push it away from the camera towards the back of the wall. Number five is for the full body poses. Have one foot out in the front with your hip pointing away from the camera and lean slightly forward with your upper body. This will slim down your lines while showing off your beautiful curves, but also you're putting less attention on your stomach and midsection. Bringing your chin forward straight out like this is gonna help you define that jawline and get rid of any double chin. A lot of my clients think the chin out is going up like this, but make sure you're going straight out like this. <laughs> it reminds me of that one meme. I also like a chin out and chin down just a little bit, but not too down where you're hiding your neck. This is especially the case if you're going from the side and tilting forward, you don't want to go chin too down. We really want to be elongating the neck as much as possible. Tip number seven is a sitting down pose that works so beautifully for all of my plus size clients and it will definitely work for you too. Grab a chair and sit on the edge of the chair and on your side. Think of yourself being kind of like a mermaid. You don't want to sit on both of your butt cheeks. And remember, tip number two, you want to be uncomfortable. After you do the mermaid sit, I'm going to have you lean forward onto a box or this could be an ottoman or a railing as well. This is an absolutely beautiful pose because we get to show off your curves and also slim you down by leaning you forward. We get to put more focus onto your face and it's just, it's just stunning. Tip number eight is don't worry about doing anything crazy with your hands if you don't have to. I think we're always so stuck on trying to do something crazy like cupping our face or anything like that. But especially for my plus size clients, I don't want to clutter up more up here. There's a, you're beautiful enough, you, that's it. That's it, honestly. <laughs> if you really want to vary it up, just go for light touches, natural things like fixing your hair, uh, touching your earrings, touching the neckline, touching the necklace, but really you don't need to go for anything crazy. And the final tip, tip number nine, break all the rules that I just said and have fun. Portraiture to me is a beautiful way to explore ourselves and deconstruct this self-perception and bias that we have that we built over time through past experiences, social media, what the society has told us, the beauty standards. So yes, I'm sure these first eight tips will help you feel more confident and comfortable in front of the camera. You'll know how to pose for your own body and put more attention on the parts of the body that you love for yourself. And that's a great foundation, but the next step would be to just have fun, dance around, break the rules, laugh with your head back. That's really coming back to exploration. The more you keep breaking out of your boundaries, you get to look at the photos and say, oh, I like this, but I like that. And going into your next shoot and the next shoot, you're gonna always feel more confident in just yourself and less about maybe how you look in photos and just like how you feel too. Well, that's it for this video, you beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, and if you wanna use some of these tips, please tag me on Instagram at davidsophoto because I would love to give you the hype that you deserve, queens. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't done so, and also maybe even hit the subscribe button because that will help me out a lot. Lastly, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Would you wanna see a second part to this video? Maybe more of a behind the scenes of a client shoot? More posing, more expression, more David? Let me know.